M0FXB take a look at what they've previewed at the Tokyo Ham Fair, the new ICOM ID5200. So you'll be familiar with the 5100 that you can see here. So imagine this, but color and including GPS Bluetooth. So of course it's it's partly speculation. They have actually got one there. There's also a they've released a brochure called the Icom ID5200. So it is happening. I don't know when. I don't know the cost, but we are following along with the speculation. It says here, two meters seventy or one four 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 thirty digital voice. So D star, of course, push a button, and you've got D star. That nice color screen, very similar, I would say, to the ICOM 705 in how it looks, but there's dual display. So you've got half on the right, half on the left. And I did see a GPS logo and a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth logo. Was it Wi-Fi? Let me have another look at the logo. That looks like Bluetooth. Yeah, just moving this around so we can see it at the top. GPS, does that say Vox? The time, Bluetooth, USB com, so you've got USB connection there, SD card, FM, sub and, and main band, full color screen, identical virtually in coloring and colors to the 9700 705, but side by side. So that, yeah, this is, look at that, you've got independent volume, squelch top, um, at the top left, top right, D star logo, power. Uh, so they have completely, completely finished it. But at the bottom, we've got menu, money, function, scan, quick speech. So it talks to you, lock. And uh, so, come on, it's going to be, that's going to be the best selling dual bander on the market. I, I, that's my personal opinion, that it will be the best selling dual bander on the market. Let's have a, another quick look at the brochure. And check out uh, all the videos that everyone's releasing from Tokyo Ham Fair. I'm not there. I, I do want to go one day. It's just such a long flight. And it's touch screen as well. Uh, as was the 51. Now the 5100 is excellent. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, internal gateway function and internal gateway function will allow you to connect to the Wi-Fi. So yeah, it's going to be fully as you, as you would expect when using the uh, sort of Wi-Fi or the functionality that, that opens up for you. Dual antenna support, wide frequency range 1.8 to 50. Mm, making it suitable for a wide range of 1.8 megahertz of HF operation. No way. No way. It says here 144 to 430 megahertz and all the DV. And then it talks about Wi Fi. Let's read it properly. I'm reading what they're putting. It will support a dedicated DV repeater monitor function. Automatic tuner is called the AH6. Shown below, you can see it there. Dual antenna, 50 ohms, SO239, long wire. Wide range frequency, wide frequency range. It will cover frequencies from 1.8 megahertz to 50 making it suitable for a wide range of HF operations. Whoa, so we definitely, that's a that's a big deal. Oh my God, it does actually say, as this is a, such a fresh information, we have no details about pricing information. 7300 Mark II, all oh, right, okay, okay. So now they're talking about the 7300 Mark II. So as, such fresh information. We have no details about pricing availability as more information is released about these models as well as the 7300 Mark II. And then it talks about HF. But, um, so, hmm. We need more specs. So I'm not seeing any visual, apart from the way it just mentions the fact that it will, it definitely says it, wide frequency range covering 1.8 to 50 megahertz. Now remember that HF is seven megahertz so that's above you know that's there 3.5 megahertz etc so this actually might have hf now whether it's got it on transmit is another thing but if this is going to be like the 
Icom um, 7 1, let's get it right, 7 1000, was it, with the colour screen shack in the box? Or, or the, this is the black and white version, then you've got the colour version. Now, and you know, th let's face facts, this was, this was ahead of its time, completely ahead of its time, this one. And I've still got it, I've still got it here. And it's shack in the box. Now, if they are going to bring out the 5200, um, with a color screen and it does HF, so shack in the box. Yeah. That I cannot think of a better, I don't know, packaging format, whatever you call it, radio than that. Um, the, the FTX one does do it, but you remove the head, but it's heavy. It's big. It's heavy. You know, and I, and, um, I'm just saying it as a, as a user. I don't dislike the FTX one, but. If they bring out a shack in the box, this can, if you look at the head unit, it looks quite light. Watch the videos that we've been seeing. Uh, I've seen a few videos online. It's a, it, yeah, it's got the back unit, which is the same as a typical Yesu 857 type radio. So the back unit, but the front, if that is HF, that is going to be my, my go-to radio. Cause that's the, what the one radio that I love is my, is my 7000 and my 7100 because they're so portable. So yeah, watch, yeah, just watch the space. As I learn more, as I get more information, you're gonna be, um, you know, you're gonna get my videos made. Thank you so much to ICOM, everyone that makes radios, um, but the new ICOM IC5200, possibly shack in the box.